Greetings, Bad Prince here, and today we are playing the Warrior Lock. Begin. Oh, I gotta use the, the thingies? That's fine. It's not logical, it's psychological. Stephen R. Covey. Ooh. House Errington of the Velomir Order, Central Panthera Province in the Queen's Realm. Captain's Chambers. The captain stands disquieted. It was only a matter of time before he'd have to let the boy go, to dispatch him into the darkest of places, to fight for fortune and glory, and to collect his own sins. This was the job. Harry was just too bright a star to not let shine. Oh, <laughs> look at his pretty eyes. Doubt and uncertainty cloud his clarity. But of one thing the captain is absolutely certain, fate is a two-headed hagborn temptress with a firm and seductive grasp on irony's testicles. Mmm. <laughs> Ah, fate. If hope holds the light and candle in the window of the heart, then may destiny hold the map to success and a safe return home. May this be young Harry's destiny calling and not his fate. Okay. Come on, Harry. May Toysis is pronounced may estos. Oh. May estos. Thank you for the tip on pronunciation. May estos. May estos. Harry will no doubt be excited when I tell him that magical bastard thinks everything is a bloody jolly adventure. Dreamers and fools, my imtimbered father used to say, Son, don't try. You'll just die. Reaching for that pie in the sky. So much rhyming. It is a long way to the top if you want to dungeon crawl. It's a long way to the top if you want a dungeon crawl. Spent his entire service to the crown in those damned dirty danger holes of death. All risk, no reward. He was a fool. But he once was a dreamer, all right. Ah. <sighs> And a miserable arsehole. <laughs> you hear that, old man? I swear I can feel your presence at times, lingering somehow between the voices of this world and the next. Okay, stop pacing around your bedroom. <laughs> In talking to yourself, I think you might need to seek help. If you're listening to crutchety old crispy X dungeon crawling com com I want you to do something for me. I want you to watch over Harry on this mission. He's become like a son to me. And if you're anything like the battle-hardened, cranxious son of a bitch, then you are on this side. Then I have no doubt you've got some clout on the other. What? Come on. Do this for me, father. Help Harry succeed and return to me safe. And I'll forgive you. Forgive who, Captain? Ah, there you are. Harry Longshaft reporting... Long, Longshaft. Really? That's, that's their family name? Usually that means that it runs in the family, right? Reporting for duty, sir. Please come, let us speak by the fire. doop 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 do. Ah, nice warm fire. You did good work clearing out that festering goblin hive in Hag's Hollow for Baron Blackburn. Whoa, alliteration. He and his family are very grateful. This will help to ensure future contracts. Es evisceration never felt so good, Captain. Shame about the little ones, though. He slaughtered little tiny baby goblins. Aww. Goblins have always liked the taste of children, Harry. All that damned maple syrup they eat sweetens their tears. 
Okay. Now chin up, lad. I got another job for you. A delivery. Hooray for random quests. I'm ready, Captain. Are you ready to adventure hard? I am. How hard? Very hard, sir. How about damn hard? Damn straight, Captain. Long shaft is damn hard. All right, then. Let's get down to the bone. There's so many phallic references in this this uh, speech. Something foul is afoot in the feral frontier. <laughs> There's been an a incident in... Yeah, I was meant to remember that pronunciation. Maestois. Maestois. At the Bracken settlement of the foothills of the Hydra Ranges. Many of the settlers ha there have reportedly come to corpses killed swiftly by some sort of terrible illness. Black beaver fever? Oh no, their beavers have turned black. <laughs> Perhaps if there was a rotting troll carcass upstream somewhere, tainting whatever water supply they were accessing, but this surely is something much worse. A few surviving settlers under orders not to leave the village. The sickness has passed, but the Royal Council is very concerned about the future outbreak that could wipe but wipe out years of expensive colonial efforts in the frontier. Can we just go on the quest now? The council wants us to try and make contact with the resolute clan of enchanted healers, white witches of the old world, known as Durillian. It is the council's hope that these mythical beings may agree to watch over the settlers in Bracken. As our colony grows, protect them from further harm. A long shot it is... But try, we must. The legendary Delurian? I remember stories of them from when I was a boy. Sister Madame Fawn at the orphan... No one cares about your creepy coven tales and horrors of Hydra. Come on. Just go do your task. Oh yes, Bloodwell. Great series takes me back. Captain? Right, according to old records submitted by the Brotherhood and the Sisterhood of Dungeoneers, Local 187, the Delarian Sanctum stands high above the ruins near Bakken. A perilous journey, no doubt. I ask the Council for a few more days, until our field unit returns from the capital, so I could form a plan and a proper team, but they want this done now. Send in the warrior lock, they said. Here, take this. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Yay, I got a royal scroll. What do I do with it? Your mission is one of Coria and Ambassador. You will personally deliver the sealed royal scroll. Okay, I can do that. Let's go. Thank you for this opportunity, Captain. You don't know how much this means to me. I always wanted to see them, Her Majesty's jewels. Oh, it's a crown jewel, all right. One that will bend over and take you straight to hell faster than a giant ro rowog in heat. After generations of attempted settlement in the godforsaken land, much of Maestos remains a wild and dangerous, broken-hearted, drunken ginger. Mm. Did your father have red hair? Never mind that. <laughs> That's why his beard is so light. I understand your concern, Captain. The dangers ahead are real. But I'm a warrior lock, remember? Danger throws through my veins and... My might and magic, I will deliver mayhem to Maestos for you if I must. Don't get cocky, Longshaft. <laughs> cocky Longshaft. That's what he's going to call his daughter. Even with your outstanding abilities, you're going to need an angel and a devil on your shoulders and eyes in the back of your head down there. Come on, let's just go. People die every day, Captain. Doop doo. I'm so proud of you, boop ba -doo, your parents are dead, wow. I sent word with the carrier eagle to the gnar. Why didn't you send the scroll via carrier eagle? Get the eagles to do it. Understood. What should I ask? He's Master Jack Price, goes by Half Jack now. Okay, we've had too much intro story. Ah, oh, I'm going to skip some. Hurry up. And Harry? Yes, Captain. Don't forget to come back alive. Well, dang. Lucky you mentioned it. I would have forgot otherwise. 
do 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 the bitter willow marsh in the driver's jug was destined for digestion and the mighty coved hoof creature before him lifted and pulled forward the mass of its pride and burden in a harmonious and seemingly autonomous locomotive marvel of nature's engineering someone owns a thesaurus ah Wow, what happened to that moon? That's a very straight line cutting it off. Oh, wait, there's clouds. By the time dusk began, its fiery farewell dance into the horizon. The cart driver drank himself into a blurry-eyed stupor of slurred victory song and paraddle. The bloody blood, blah, 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 blah. <gasps> a dragon! Um, flying low and clumsy with a most iron gaping maw, lion poison tooth like ridges, the large Oku bat. It's not a dragon, it's a big fat bat. Bounced up and down in the air with each rapid flap of its muscular rims, creepily and comely like a plump and oily green homicidal balloon. Ah, should we offer it a drink, attack it, or try to sing it to sleep? I think the bat would like a drink. Here you go, bat, have a drink. The Okubat greedily accepts the offer and drains the remaining Willow Marsh from the driver's jug, becoming overwhelmed with liquid courage and spoiling for a fight. Oh no! Now it wants to... Aww. Its speed and karma got decreased, but its might and guard is increased. I will earn double the regular experience points, though. Time for battle! Oh, can I bribe it? I already tried bribery. I guess I'm just going to have to attack it. Stab. Ah, oh, it's nearly dead. It's fine. Aha, uh -huh, I evaded. Oh, come on. Don't get two strikes. Go, go, go. Come here, Okubat. I'm going to attack your eye. Right in the eye. It evaded my attack. Oh, man. That's what I get for evading his attack. Did I get it? I got it! I killed the, the Okubat. What loot do we get? Do we get to keep his eyeball? No. I got no loot. But I got experience. Starlight beamed through the pinholes across the dark caverns of the sky. As the cool night settled overhead, easing the dust and dry air with gentle breath, fragrant for conifer <coughs> of the moist stone. Nom, nom. Sleep began to creep into Harry's mind. His weary eyes lulled into the submission of the rhythm of the cart's gentle snore and the tunneling wheels behind the bison's steady and restless pace. Sleep time. What do we do when we wake up? Zzz. Zzz. Aha! We're here! After a long night's journey in the back of a rattling wagon and in and out of a dreamless sleep, morning finally broke into smoldering red dawn, and a deer and old shiver rushed into Harry's spine as his eyes first a step set upon the Winter's Mountains and the Great Wall dividing the Queen's Realm from the north to the south, and unruly to ruthless. Good morning. Red sky at morn, sailors be warned. Good thing we're not sailors, then. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Speak for yourself. If I were a sailor, I wouldn't be standing in front of these frozen walls with my shrunken basilisk turned into my guts. You must be the captain's man. His penis shrank because it's cold. <laughs> Harry Longshaft's the name. Pleasure. I'm Officer Morrison, gatekeeper of the Gnar Wall. Anything you'd like to know before I let you pass? Uh, I've heard these mountains are cursed. Cursed, yes. It's almost always winter in the winter mountains. Hence the name. All right. Uh, where is the north wind outpost? The outpost is just ahead. Say straight at the fork. Don't turn right. You should reach there without too much trouble. Thank you. What dangers are in this area? There are many creatures that do not welcome our presence here, but I shall not speak their names aloud. 
Why not? I shall not speak it. No. Let's get this gate open for you. God, release the gate. I said release the gate. What the hell is this now? Charlie, you up there? What's going on? Unlock the gate for this young man. Where's Charlie? Charlie? You deaf bastard spawn, release the bloody gate. <laughs> Say please, you pot-bellied swine lover. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Swine lover? Don't you talk of my wife that way. She's a fine cook and a good listener, which is twice more than I can say for you. Her cooking's making you fat. At least I can grow larger, you skeletal runt. You look like a 12-year-old with dysentery. <laughs> I've cracked out bigger mud rats than you. I hope he doesn't die of dysentery. You kiss your wife with that foul snout. You're just jealous, you salty little taint weasel. Jealous of what? Your growing chin collection? Oh, that's real funny, Charlie. Too bad your wisecracks can't warm your wifeless bed. Ah, oh, come on. What's the difference between your wife and a walrus? One has a mustache and smells like a fish, and the other is a walrus. You ungrateful little skank. Open the damn lock gates things. Ah. Oh. Don't you turn away, Charlie. Mr. Longshaft, my apologies. It appears that we may have a slight human resources related issue. Ah, <laughs> uh, go smack him upside the head. Now you're famous. You happy? Hmm, the precious minutes of our lifespans are slipping away while you're busy brooding about finding yourself in there. Finding yourself. <gasps> He's playing with his tinky. Charlie, say something. We have someone here waiting. Look. I can't make this right if you don't tell me what's wrong. She always loved you more. Oh, Charlie, don't start this again. She loved us both almost the same. It's true that I was her favorite, but you were sort of special to her. Mama's little mystery. That's right, Charlie. Mama's little mystery. That's what she called you. You were her favorite accident, remember? <laughs> Ah, oh, bastard spawn something something. Let me through the gate. The story is written great, but it's there's so much of it. Thank you. Anytime, that's my job. Utterly ridiculous. Alright, let's go through the gates already. Uh I'd love him. I do love him, but I'd kill him if I could. You're both blessed to have a brother. Indeed. Why are you standing so close to me? Excuse me. It's not something I normally do. You'll find the road before you glittering with the spoils of battle. Items lost by the fallen. Take what you can find, but be careful. Some of those sneaky creatures have been known to deploy. Alright. If I take some of this stuff, I might get attacked. Come on. Let me through. But I do need items and loot. Let's get some. Harry stepped through the gates in the shadow of the Great Wall and listened to the very heavy slab close to the locked door behind him. Something, something, Wintergrave. I get to control now. Hey, hey, there's some dots over there. I guess I should avoid the dots. They're enemies. But where's the loot? Or do I kill the enemies to get the loot? Don't turn at the fork in the road. I remember that from all the dialogue. Oh no, I'm here already. I should have fought a monster. Can I go back? Can I go back? <coughs> go back. Go back. The warrior lock's here. No, no, go back. Cape or no cape? Cape, red one. Art thou... <laughs> No, I don't want to read that. I'm not serious. No, I'm serious. He's wearing a red cape. Come see for yourself. Nah, I'm having a no-pants day. I can't believe you called both bets. I know, right? Looks like you owe me double. Well, I never make a wager I don't lose to. 
I'm letting him in. No, I won't go back and fight a monster and get some loot. How about I fight this eagle? Come here, eagle. I'll punch you. Uh. Damn it. Ah, oh, I missed the bit where I got to play by just walking forward because I didn't want to turn at the thing and something, something, can you do something for us? Hey, it's a cyclops lady. Skippity skip, I want to go back. Why is he stuck in a little cauldron? He's lost his legs in battle. Something, something. Ah! <laughs> Something dangerous. What? Can I go back out? I want to go fight those monsters. I need the loot and the treasure. I need a helmet. Look at my silly head. I got a book of light. What does it do? I should have read that stuff. I should have read that stuff. I should have read that stuff. But I want to go fight the monster. I want to get one more monster fight in before I... Hey, here we go. Alright. Now, I didn't read what I was meant to do. But let's have a monster fight. Let's have a monster fight. Hey, it's a snowman. Do you want to kill a snowman? It's a snow manifestation. I like it. Good puns. Can I go now? Attack. Oh, I can do a talent. Oh, no, I've already clicked attack. Stab. It evaded. Oh, man, this snowman's going to rip me a new one. Oh, no, no, no. Back, back. Talent. Um, let's see. Hypnotizes into a deep sleep. Life, energy, theft, and absorption spell. Yes, necronomicist, thank you. That way I'll get some of my health back because it seems like I lost half of it in that last attack. Alright. Attack the snowman. Stab. Oh, critical hit. Take that, snowman. Ow. Snow smash. Oh, no, 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 don't die. Ah, oh, I sought out fighting and I expired. Oh, man. Oh, what did I do? I should have just kept reading story and not worried about fighting snowmen. Oh, that's enough for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh.